Where'd this guy come from? Is it true that Canada stayed home scared? I don't fucking think so. <laughs> Give me! Cameraman here, folks. We got junk man over here. We got stunt man over here. What's going on, stunt man? You big uh, professor, teacher, whatever you want to call yourself. Go ahead. Tonight I'm giving a history lesson. Oh okay, and I'm gonna explain why. I love this country. A lot of things going on I don't like, and I'm gonna talk about World War II right now. Okay, World War II occurred. You had the Germans right here. Get over here and show this truck and do your damn job. Okay. Ooh, what do we Porsche, have here? Porsche truck. Okay, she's got a little love tap in the front. Okay. All right, all right. Nothing little love tap. Nothing Get over with that. Otherwise, the rest of her is beautiful. Light it up. She's got leather. These people even sprang for a sunroof. Don't look in my car! You're gonna <laughs> jinx it, you son of a bitch! Wait a uh, minute. Whoa, whoa, this was your I choice. Think... Stop that. Wait a minute. There may be a little competition going on here. Now, what's over there on the other side? Get over here. You just saw Germany. Yep. There was a little short guy there with a stupid mustache that caused a lot of trouble back in the late 30s. What a trouble. So all you kids that don't learn this in school, you're going to learn it now, missile drop style. Wow. This over here, Range Rover. Ooh. Get back and get a full view. She's a beautiful truck. What a beautiful piece, ladies and gentlemen. You got to love it. This represents Great Britain. Go and ah. walk around. Range Rover, roves all over, ranges all over. Wow. Beautiful truck. It's got the leather. This one's got leather too? I don't think you could get either one of these trucks without leather. And they sprang for the roof. Ah. So here's the history lesson. I'm going to point out how the little guy with the stupid mustache caused trouble, starts bombing Great Britain over here. You understand? So we're going to do a power pull, me and this guy, Italian. Junk man. I don't know where this history lesson's going. You kind of lost some stuff in the middle there. I'm okay. lost. Like I never Nobody's paid attention lost, in school. Man. I'm not paying attention to you right now. Nobody's Get lost. in your vehicles, Germany gentlemen. versus Great Britain. Power pull right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What if I win? Then we're not being like historically correct in the beginning. You're now, gonna win. Up. You know you're gonna you win. I mean, come on. I, you're gonna break that winning streak? I, I mean, guys, is he gonna win or is he gonna win? Who's gonna win? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Let's see. Oh, let me shut your door. Give him hell, please. We gotta shut this guy up. Well, I'm so tired of his shit. All right, what you got, stunt man and junk man? That transmission. Oh, it's getting hostile out here. Oh. Wow. All right, pull it back over here. You're really embarrassing yourself. You're really embarrassing yourself. Hold on, folks. Hold on.
I've seen enough. Get out, stuntman. I've seen enough. Supposedly the Germans had a big war machine, and this is what I end up with. This is why I'm quitting the channel. I'm calling up zip ties. I'm calling up. I'm calling up whistle and diesel. I'm calling up hooligans. I'm calling up that guy Cletus. And, and you know what they're going to do? They're not I'm even going to answer the phone. No, I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them. Because I'm embarrassed. I got faulty shit. But let me give you the second half I, I of think, what. I think there's a little inaccuracy here on what happened in the beginning. Because if this shit would have happened in the beginning, it doesn't happen. It's over. Ah, you see, that's a true professor right there. And also, you. And you're just an idiot! And also, you're missing a couple of countries. Now, I know you refuse to get into a Peugeot, and my ass ain't fitting in the Fiat. That's why France and Italy's not going to be. Listen! The French laid down their weapons after the Germans blew off a bottle rocket! Okay? <laughs> that's what happened with that! But let me give you part two on what I. Get off me! I gotta show you something! Alright. Right here! Oh, that looks like a big battleship right there. That's a big United States battleship. And let me tell you what happened with the battleship. Now get over here. Hold on, we gotta light it up. Light it up. Big American battleship. Get over here, you asshole. Ooh, ooh. ooh. That was, I, I, what did I do? Go. What did I do wrong? Right over here, this represents Japan. And this is why we ended up in the war, okay? A little attack. What's that? The old fucking rickshaws got this. Oh, wait, what? What? Wait a second. <laughs> now, somebody just said something about a rickshaw. That's how the Japanese attacked our battleships down in Hawaii on December 7th, 1941. Well, guess what we did? Get me these doors open. All right, stunt man, with this history lesson of yours. So now what happened was after they hit our beautiful battleship, they dragged us in, dragged us into the war. And I want to say something. Yeah. I had my, my grandmother's brother fought in Germany, two gold, uh, uh, two purple hawks. And let me tell you what happened with him. His family members, my other aunts, uncles, grandmothers, grandfathers, they were giving blood every day. My family was walking around back in the 40s, pale skin with no blood and lightheaded, giving this guy blood because he was in a hospital in Germany. I'm heated up. We oh won. We won. It's okay. We but won. now let me show you what we did with our battleship. Okay. Here we go. He's going to show us what we did with our battleships. Hold on! All right! So what we do, stuntman? Oh! Oh! We just we straightened them right out. We pulled up to the coast of Germany, and we took them out, we de them. Did that Canada was... have anything to do with this They war? had nothing to do with it! They were sitting home scared! Wait a second. Did you hear that? Where'd this guy come from? Is it true that Canada stayed home scared? I don't fucking think so. <laughs> he doesn't think he doesn't think so. Wait a second. I recognize this guy. Dang! Oh! Wow. Guess who we have here, ladies and gentlemen? The great peg. Zip ties and bias flies, folks. He came in and he surprised us. He's gonna get behind the wheel of that lovely Japanese vehicle. That's what I think. What do you think? You ready to go? Well, the old wreck child will do just fine. You know what? Have him jump in this, the American one. I don't want to embarrass him. Give me a hug. 
<laughs> He's got a Celine Dion tattoo on his ass. I kissed it. <laughs> Hold on. Be a burnout battle? Tell that son of a bitch Pat to get his ass in that suburban if he's got a set of nuts between his legs. Oh, wow. Okay. You heard it right here. You heard it, Peg. Jump into that big old suburban. I think you got him mad, you idiot. He's our guest. Oh! Oh! You know he's gonna give it! Give it! Wow! This is epic! We got stuck man and paid from zip ties and by his flies! You know oh! He's pushing them! He's pushing them, folks! Wow! Where do you get to see it? Woo! Stuntman is relentless! Oh, there you go! The skies have lit up in Mexico! Cover the jugular, gentlemen! Pizza toppings. Pizza toppings everywhere. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, is everyone Wait okay? Wait a second. Did I just see Stuntman get beat by a desk? Yeah. I gotta tell you right now, this peg is no joke. This peg is no joke. I gotta tell you, that was a mint performance. Mint. He stayed on it. Let me wow. tell you. He wasn't a scared. Wasn't a scared at all. This I'm guy. I'm not lying. I couldn't see anything. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, you didn't need to see anything. He pushed me back. He had a heavier truck that's 5,500 pounds. I'm only 4,000 pounds. You son of a bitch. You're a cheater. You come to New York and you cheated me. Wow. What, what, Peg, really? I, you I, didn't I, I cheat. Didn't you beat him fair and square. And once again, Stuntman's record is unblemished with straight losses all the way across. Congratulations, Stuntman, for embarrassing our family and our family name. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Wow. <laughs> wow. Canada. <laughs> Guys, let me Folks, tell you something. Folks, this was a great surprise. I got to tell you what happened. Get in there, Stuntman. Junkman. Stuntman. Junkman, Come get in there guys. with Stuntman. Junkman surprised us, folks. You're going to see. Peg's got some footage. We're over here talking about what we're going to do. Next thing you know, I see this maniac walk up. And he's, I go, what? he gets right up on us. I'm like, yo, what's going on? He's like, I said, are you filming us? He goes, maybe I fucking am. I said, whoa, whoa. <laughs> now Stuntman Is has that no hair idea. Real? That's real freaking hair right there. <laughs> I'm like, holy oh, shit, leg. it's Peg. And we got to thank the great junk man for making it all possible. He put it together. Ladies well, and gentlemen, he said he was coming. let me tell you something. I yeah, him up. that's right. Let me tell you, to be in the presence of this guy, meeting him, <laughs> first of all, incredible, incredible guy. I'll Gentlemen, right now. all the way. Even yeah. though, even though he's yeah. got a Celine D, oh, D on tattoo right on his. Oh, he can't see me. Oh, pound it, pound the pound the pound. Oh yeah, I'm fucking blind. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He can't see. But how do you like New York? Your first time out here or what? Fucking do we? Never yeah. been here before. Yeah. Well, we're going to be hanging out with him for a few days. We did this uh, footage. We'll do some more footage. 
I'll tell you right now, I am over the moon. I'm looking at him with this mask on. I'm like, I, I feel like a little kid. I swear to God, in Funny, Disneyland, good shit, man. Or, All or, good. Or, or whatever land that you have in your country where there's little things running around no, and you're greeting all the little whoa, kids. Whoa, whoa. What? Just the other day, you were talking shit. The Celine Dion tattoo. It's the fact that he has, the fact that he has to buy socks half as much as we do. Yeah, he gets half price on sneakers. Not my problem, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. I heard he got out of the Canadian draft by cutting his leg off. <laughs> Not my problem either. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. We are, listen, Hit Peg's channel, obviously, you guys all know him. He's the one that found us, man. One day I'm watching, I'm like, all of a sudden they hear, yo, th 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 people are hitting me up. Yo, Peg from Zip Ties is talking about you. So I'm like, wow, we had maybe 10, 12,000 subscribers. I went over there, I saw him tearing it up. Yeah. We talked to each other on the phone and whatnot. All good stuff, man. He's a great yeah. dude. Ladies and gentlemen, like, comment, subscribe. Hit Peg's channel, obviously. Hit... Hit Junk Man's Paradise. And Zip ties we, and bias Listen, people. this was a mess. Let me feel those packs. Let me feel those packs. Let everybody do a Mickey. Mickey. We are out. <laughs>